guys, welcome to The Awakening. Today, I want to put a program on for all us healers. I've had a really difficult day today. Talk about the darkness, the noise and the pollution that was around me today, which really, something I could have done without because I just didn't deal with it very well, the best that I wanted to. And I tried to create peace. I tried to take it from the dark into the light. It wasn't working because the ego of that, of that person was very big. It was too big for me. And they refused to back down. I'm just going to look at A Course in Miracles today. Give me your blessings, holy son or daughter of God of love. Now, I'm all about mirroring and understanding what that other person is trying to tell me. I'm all about looking inside and trying to figure out what they're trying to teach me. But what was that all about? I went up to the person and I said, please, do you mind? The noise is too strong for me. Um, I don't feel very well. And could you maybe have asked me in a nice way, um, as we're still in lockdown, whether it's okay to have you, you know, doing all this light lay, laying of pavements and noise levels and really long banging. And I'm in a one bedroom, for God's sake. It would have been nice to have known, to prepare myself, give me time. And that woman just said to me, oh, I'll do whatever I want. It's my place. It's my home. I'll do whatever I want. I'll go on for it all next week. And I thought to myself, well, she goes on all next week. That means I can't do any interviews at all. I can't do anything. Is, is that what's meant to happen here? Am I meant to stop altogether and sit here and listen to this unbearable noise? Because I'm not very good with the cold weather. Um, having this looked into, but I'm sick in the cold weather. And so to go outside in the cold when there's no sunshine is not going to benefit me. Quite honestly, I just want to do my work. I want to build moving on TV. I want to do my work. I want to do my interviews. It was like, you know, yeah, you're nothing. I'll go on and do this. For the, how long is she going to do it for? This banging and this noise. Do I just have to put up with it? I can't. I can't do my work with that noise level. The house is too small. I have to have a window open for some air. Should I sit in here and close all the windows? And I can't do interviews when there's banging and noise. As you know, it's on Zoom. And it was like, why did that happen to me? I went there with kindness and love. We'd been getting on really well. And that woman wouldn't budge. It was like she wanted to fight with me. I didn't want to fight with her. I said to her, please. And her son said, why? I said, well, because of the noise. Because I don't sleep because I'm working. I work at night and sleep during the day. My, my pattern is different to everybody else. And it was like, no, no, I won't do it. Even her son was trying to get around her. She wasn't interested. There was no interest whatsoever. No one. Except her son. Her son was quite calm and quite nice and said, uh, mom, and she wouldn't listen. She wouldn't listen. I said, okay, then I'll do what I have to do to stop it because I have rights because we're still social distancing apparently and there's a whole lot of you and there's the guy, you know, there's about 10 of you plus the workers and the worker kept going louder and louder as if to aggravate me. And she said to me, I had to pad my whole house down because you were singing your opera and doing your exercises and your music all the time. Yes, I did. I entertained people. Remember, I entertained you at the beginning of the lockdown. 
this is a one bedroom flat, noise travels. I had nothing that I could do apart from singing. It was my way of coping with the lockdown. And this woman is sitting with her family, with her kids and her grandkids, and saying to me, I can do whatever I want. You are nothing. It's like, just, just help me here. Back. Can we talk? And then I said to her, that's our war start. And if you don't back down, then I won't back down because what can I do? And no one supported me. All I wanted was someone, apart from her son, as I, as I say, who said, Mom, maybe you could a little bit. No, I'm not backing down. She needs to get this because she did this. And I thought, there you go. That's our world. That's our world, and this body is not functioning. I can't, couldn't eat today. I haven't had anything to eat. I can't eat. I, I, I was all, everything came up. I've been tapping continuously, and I thought, healers, light workers, do you feel like me? Do you feel like all the work we're doing is falling on nothing? Nothing's changing. These people are stupid as in the world. They have no compassion. All they care about is themselves. They don't care about kids. They don't care about anyone dying in a war or kids being mutilated and sex slaves and killed. They don't care about abuse. They don't care about anything. All they care about is themselves and their families. They're not doing anything to heal the world. They're not going out there to create sound systems and things that are going to help people. They're not doing anything. And I rang up one of my healer friends, one of my warrior friends. Thank God I've got you guys. Where we go one, we go all, which I didn't have up until now. Millions of us. And she said, you come to me when you're ready. Because if it got to a level, I agree with you. And we will stand tall together. There was not one person around me here that would stand tall with me. And why is it wrong here? I mean, in physically, she was on the phone. And the police turned up. I didn't call them. I wouldn't have done that to her. Because I forgot that she was breaking the law. I forgot that there's still social distancing and they're not allowed to gather all of them and do all of this work. I didn't call the police, she did. She dropped herself in it the same way as the deep state dropped themselves in it. She called the police, the police stood there, meek, but no energy whatsoever. They didn't even knock on my door. And then they just said to them very nicely, they must have said, pack up and end it. And they went, they packed up all the work tools and she and her family all went. Now, wasn't that interesting? The police didn't fight, they didn't bang on my door, they didn't shout at me, they didn't even ask me what was going on. Nothing. And I'm trying to look at the situation now and say to all you healers, we are very, very sensitive at the moment. Every bone in our body is screaming, help, noise pollution, it's hard. And then there's those that don't feel anything. They don't feel anything. I can't do it with them at the moment. I can't be around them. You don't have to be around that. There's only so much we can do. Nausea, not sleeping, continuous working. That's what we are doing. We're all doing it. We work day and night. I work day and night to put out the programs to edit. I don't go to bed till 6 a.m. in the morning because I'm working, continuously working, working, working on sending out a message of hope and sending out a message of truth and sending out my music all the time. With very little help. Everything on my own. You guys come on and do the interviews. I'm grateful. And then it's me. And yes, I, I, I have someone who 
takes care of me to a certain extent, but that's it. I'm on my own. What I'm saying, healers, take care of yourself. You need to look after yourself. I know that my health is getting to a level where something serious could happen to me. I know it because I can see. I can see whether my eyes is not as open as the other one. I'm not sure what's going on. But there's no one that I would go to for that except people that I trust. And I know I trust and I'm seeing them. I'm going to see them. I know that my health is suffering. Because I'm sensitive and I'm doing everything I can to protect myself with the violet flame. And I thought today I'll come on here and I'll talk to the healers. The healers are going away on holiday for two weeks because they're going to have to to carry on this work. It's so hard to do God's work, to do love's work with so little support. When millions of us are waking up and billions of us are not. It's hard. That's why I wanted to come on here today and say, take your time. Take your time, heal yourself, protect yourself. I cannot work in noise. No one can work in noise. You can work in noise. If you're running a quiet center, how can you work in noise? How? It's impossible. How can you do yoga teaching in noise? How can you Zoom yoga while banging and drilling is going out there? The world, is this a metaphor of working through the noise, of working through the chaos, of working through the, the madness? Is this it? Are we supposed to carry on regardless of the noise, the madness, the panic, the fear? I cannot do, physically do a Zoom with another human being if there's drilling going on. How can I? The drilling, you won't hear them. You won't hear me. What's the point of working? I'm scared. I'm really scared. My health is suffering so much. And I'm seeing someone tomorrow I trust, doing mineral tests and checking what needs to be checked with her because she knows how to heal me without destroying me. The rest of them, I wouldn't go near them. They would destroy me. I want to go to bed and I want to sleep without nausea, don't you? Without pain. I don't want the pain of that world on top of me. And yet today I was forced to face it again. Why? What is this teaching us? How can we get through, guys? Welcome to the awakening. Is there an awakening? Yes. Millions of us. Where we go one, we go all. Quality. Millions of us, quality. Quality people that know the truth, that are not afraid of it. But I still have this. We still have this. You still have this. If I get a stroke tomorrow because one of my eyes is not open well enough, How's that going to help? Because I'm so tired and I'm so, I can't take anymore. I, I do my work. I love my work, but I cannot take that out there. I cannot take extra, extra, extra. That was just unkind. I prayed to God that I don't know. I want to work. So someone offered me, I could come to our house and do the interviews in our house. I'm grateful, but it's quite far and I'm tired. And who's going to drive me there? I'm tired. Why should I have to leave my home to suit that lot? So if you've got any ideas of how I can do interviews with drills and banging, 
get back to me because I'm not going to be able to do a lot of work if that's the case. How? And there was no empathy for me. None whatsoever, physically. Nothing. No one. It was just me against the world. And someone on the phone, thank God, who empathized with me totally. The mind comes in and says, you're going to get a stroke, you're going to die. Wake up in the middle of the night and I can't breathe. The common sense comes in and says, your singing teacher told you that one side of your face is not the same, that you already had this when you were 13 years old. One side was not balanced with the other. But still, why do people forget that I'm human? Do I forget that I'm human? Is this all about me again? Is this all about you healers? That cannot get our message across and we are dying because of it, because our bodies can't take it anymore? I've been dying for a long time. I've been dying for nearly eight years. Every single time I close my eyes, I wake up thinking I'm dead. <laughs> Do you? Because of the chaos and the... Can you imagine the pain that we have picked up as empath? My darling healers. What do we do? What do we do? This body doesn't cope with the cold. As soon as I go out there in the cold, it goes into spasm. It gets sick. I'm checking it out. There's something wrong. I think I figured it out with Rebecca. She's amazing. There's a reason why I'm sick in the cold. There's a reason why you feel sick. It's not just because we're taking on the world. I'm a lot older as well, remember, even though I'm not saying it. I'm a lot older. The body is older. And as much as I don't want to believe in age, something still does. But if you've got a lot of stress in you and you're a healer and you're working day and night, you're going to get frustrated now when you look at the mess. And then you're going to look at the other side and you're going to think, wow, thank God they're waking up the idiots. They are idiots. How dare they put a message on my Facebook saying you're an idiot because you talk about how come people are not social distancing. They're the idiots. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Whatever, I don't want to die. I'm not ready. Whether it's my body that fails me, my heart, or whether they do something more with what they're doing, as we know. We have to stand tall, united. Healers, come together. Get the energy from each other. Swap the energy. Give yourself the confidence to carry on your work, to build, to build, to build. I feel very powerful when I sit here. And maybe God or something that brought that, those nice policemen that helped me today. That just told these, this lot to be quiet and let that person breathe. Whether it was that or whether they thought they told them they were breaking the law, I don't care. It worked for me. Of course, the miracles today again says, give me your blessing, holy son or daughter or God or love. Everyone is a mirror or a teacher. But those people are showing me something, aren't they? They're showing me me the noise in me the chaos in me the need to fight for my life for what i believe in that woman was fighting for her freedom to make a noise her freedom for her house it was hers her ego i fight 
for the right to be healthy. I fight for the right for you to be healthy. I fight for the right to be heard. Was she mirroring me? Am I not giving myself a chance to let go of the fighting, to let go of the pain, to let go of watching what is going on out there that doesn't serve us anymore? What amazed me was that the ones I trusted, the one I trust the most, a human. didn't protect me. And someone said to me, a very wise friend, you don't need anyone. Stand tall in your wisdom. But you know what? I do need you and me. We're tribal. None of you are on your own, completely on your own as I am when it comes to it, none of you, none of you. I wanted a lot more from life. I didn't get it. So now I'm trying to do it with my work. But the minute they take my work away from me, because it's all I've got now to, to try and keep the structure, remember? They say saying you need work, you need structure. I have a right to work and to have the quiet to work, I have a right. That is human kindness. If it was the other way around, I would have knocked on that person door. I would have said, I've got to do a little bit of work, but why is it necessary? This is not necessary work. They are not supposed to be putting up patios and trellises and building. Necessary work is different. Gardening, growing stuff, Enhancing your life with, with your food and flowers. Yes, but banging things, upsetting the neighbors. I don't do that. Yes, I did my singing. That was in the beginning of the lockdown because that's all I could do to stay sane. It was what I thought I needed to do. Well, that woman had her family and her kids and her grandkids. They were all sitting, having a beautiful time on the lawn. On the lawn. I don't have a garden. I'm banging and banging and banging on the lawn, which is really the only place I can go and sit and get some green if I want to sit in this vicinity. Because it's too, as I said, it's too cold to go into nature at the moment. I'm sorry, but that's how my body is at the moment. And so what? Why do I have to explain and ex make excuses? We are going through a lot. The healers are going through hell. We're going through hell. Hell. The world is going through hell. We have to have compassion for each other. So today broke me a bit. Not one of my family can be bothered to even WhatsApp me. Family. I get the occasional message from the sister who says, how are you? Once a week. That's it. That's all I get. Thank God for you guys. Where we go one, we go all. Thank God for Q, even if Q is rubbish, and I know it isn't. It brought us together. Thank God for the lockdown, because you find out who really is there for you. Well, you think you do. <laughs> so again, to all my beautiful healer friends, I love you. And I don't know what else to say, except if I can't be in this house and do my work, I need you to help me. I need you to offer me a space to do my interviews because there's no way I will be able to work. And if I don't work, then what's the point? Moving on TV has got to grow. I've got to work to a certain extent or else it's not going to grow. How am I going to do this? I want to. 
So please offer me a space within my interviews. If on Thursday, the noise is going to be like this, I'm going to need a space. I'll let you know. My house is tiny. I don't have anywhere to work where there'll be internet. I don't know, maybe can you, I don't know, because like I say, the, the house is tiny. I was thinking of going into the garage, of creating a studio in the garage. Can anyone explain to me, how can I get internet in the garage? It's a bit further, quite a lot, quite far away from the house. And I also need electricity. Lock myself in the garage and do my work, do my interviews, do my zooming. But how can I without Wi-Fi, without without electricity so if you can offer me a space on thursday i've got a big interview with charlie ward i need to keep giving you the good stuff as well as the other i want to i want to build moving on tv i'm enjoying it it's my job the same way as your job kimani is to do what you're doing rebecca what you're doing paul what you're doing Everyone is doing their work, healing humanity in whichever way we can, healing ourselves while we heal humanity. There's no time to heal ourselves all day and all night. We've got to go out there and heal humanity. We've got to wake up people one day at a time or else we're finished. We're finished. There's not enough of us. If there's not the quality of the light, the light is not strong enough, we're finished. Or even if we're not finished, lots of us are going to die. It's not a joke anymore. Proof is there. I told the family today, those people, I said to them, watch my program about five thingy. They said, it's your opinion. I said, no, it's not. It's science. 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 Not my opinion. Science. Lots of scientists. Warriors that go out to tell you the truth. Why bother with them anymore? These beautiful little children. I told them about Kawasaki. They did not care. They called the police on me. I had a beautiful conversation with a friend today. A beautiful man who's been hurt so badly. He rang me and we chatted. He's been through so much pain. He got a little bit of compensation. That's what they do. They give you a few crumbs. I never got anything. Nothing. Nothing. Neither did anyone else I know. I told him, you are beautiful. Don't, them, don't let them take you your, take that spirit out of you. Every one of you is beautiful. Every one of you is a healer of some kind. He hasn't found it yet. I told him, why didn't you just sell one of your houses and have some fun? This is it now, mate. Enjoy yourself. I told him what I felt I needed to say. Never said it before, I've known him for 20 odd years. You have three houses, mate, sell one and have some fun. I don't care anymore what you think about me. Here is the truth, I read his cards, why he's not moving on. Same reason that we all don't move on, because we hold on to the past. He's holding on to the past and that compensation aggravated him. No one can compensate for your abuse and your childhood abuse. No one. Beautiful soul. Sensitive, loving, beautiful soul. Went through too much. And so did the beautiful soul that st didn't stand by me today. Went through too much. Shocked. They're all shocked. We're all shocked. What gets to me is when people say you're mentally ill, there's something wrong with you, you're mad, you're crazy. No, I am not. I do not go out there eating children, sacrificing them and destroying innocence. You do. 
you lunatics. You're the mad ones. You're the ones that should be locked up, and yet you locked me up. You stopped me from adopting. Well, you sent that child into prostitution. Don't you tell me that I'm mad or crazy. Ever again. Well, you watch that thing have her birthday, that, that royal fake thing that is going, is being exposed for what they're doing. I can't wait. They sit there and they celebrate with that thing. It's her birthday soon. That eats children, that has killed innocents. And you say that I'm mad? Why you lot sit there watching the box with your EastEnders and your celebrity culture that bows down to Lucifer? And that's how they became what they are? And you say, I'm mad? Because I dare to say the truth. Because <laughs> I dare to say, Mommy and Daddy, don't send me back to my abuser. And they shut me up and send me back down and down again. I'm mad because the parents I had didn't have the guts to think, well, not the guts, because they were so stressed out. They didn't once consider their daughter and their child could be telling the truth. I'm mad. I'm mad. <laughs> no. You're mad. You need to be locked up for destroying innocence and hurting children. Us healers. We are not idiots. We are not mad. We are humanitarian. We are full of love. We can't wait to heal the world, to make it a beautiful place. We are love. We're not mad. In your terms, we're mad. We're not. None of us. You pile us up with drugs and poisons to numb us down. You don't want us to tell the truth. You don't want us to shine. Every single one of you that's been abused, and most of you have been, one way or another, by the system or by someone or something. You do not let your spirit dim in any way. I am on here because now I know I have to do this. I don't believe it in my heart half the time that I'm special or unique, or I have any power at all. I believe I'm weak. And this body crumbles at the first sign of something that it doesn't like. Does that make me weak or wise to know that? I feel weak and vulnerable and scared and helpless and confused. But on the other hand, I feel, wow, I knew it. I knew it all along. And every single healer out there is watching. We're all so full of love and we're watching the dark. We're watching the crap. We're watching people who are so stupid and so asleep, they don't want to know. They don't care. They don't care until it's on their doorstep. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I better wear a mask now or else I'll die if I breathe oxygen. But we know better. We know better. The mask is to tell you to shut up, Lauren. Shut up, Kimani. Shut up, Rebecca. Shut up, everyone. Shut up, Paul. Shut up, shut up. Don't say what you feel. The friendships I have are friendships where you say exactly what you feel. I give you permission to say it. Lauren, you're a dickhead. Lauren, you're an idiot. Say it. Only because you love me, but you have similar beliefs to me, and, they, and it's about me as a personality, not about my views, because my views, you know, are correct. My views of the world are correct. And you agree with me. Innocence comes first. 
innocence come first. The human spirit cannot be consumed. You cannot kill it. We can kill this, but we're always going to come back. We're going to come back. As long as I have got this shell, I will be back, like Arnold Schwarzenegger said. I'm tired, I'm drained, I haven't eaten anything. I'm in shock today, but I'm here. We'll always be here. And when this goes, hopefully not too soon, I'll come back in your heart, moving on TV. The children's peace song that I did that got nowhere because I was blocked with a thousand kids. Everything will be there. Everything I created will be in your heart. You're in my heart. That's it. I'm not scared. What fears I'm more feared of is the world not changing. That frightens me more than dying. Not changing this abusive world frightens me more than leaving. I know a lot of you feel the same and we stand tall together. Whatever we do, we do what we do. If it gets to a point where we have to, we do it. That's the conversation I had with someone today. There's been a lot of darkness in this conversation today. I don't know how many of you are gonna watch it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna to pray to God that the healers see this. You need to take time to breathe, to rest, so do I. How can I rest? How can I rest with drills going on around me? The rage consumes me. And yeah, I try to sit with it, but I can only sit with it so much. But they've stopped. But I don't want to rest. I want to do my work. For the first time I'm in my power, doing what I love, what I enjoy. Most of the time. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. Building something. Building a new media, a new MSM, packed with love and compassion and truth. Where will you get someone sitting on the mainstream media saying the things I am saying now? Nowhere. Never. Not until light workers get in there. I have new programs to edit, new hosts. This is my way of communicating with the human race and asking God to send this to you. Asking God to put it into the right hands that it helps you today. I don't want pity. I don't want anyone to fix me. You can't fix me. No one can fix me. I just want you to have this place to come to, to talk the same way as I am. Do your own show. Put it out there, your fear. Okay. Your fear, health is confused. I told you to do that. My teeth are breaking in my mouth. I've got something wrong with me. I'm doing a mineral test. I've got to do a serious mineral test in order to find out what's wrong with me. When I figure it out, I'll tell you, I'll explain. And then you can learn and you can thrive because I pass on everything. I share. You know what my dream is? That this time next year, I will have a piece of land, mine, and my, I will build my own home. I will build my own home and I wish that on you. I want my own home. I want build. I know builders, and I don't know what will happen to money by next year, but somehow I will have my own home. Nothing's ever going to be good enough. I do not want to live with that consciousness. It makes my skin crawl to live with that consciousness. They would let me die in here rather than knock on the door and offer me a cup of tea. 
dead. I don't want it around me. It's not my consciousness. We have a right to live in peace and love and do what we love. Safe. And I want quiet when I want quiet. And I want what I want when I want it. And that's okay. You have a right to that. God knows I work hard enough. And the amount of work I did on my music, I should have, I should. I could have achieved it, but I didn't. And I haven't figured that one out yet. And I'm plodding away with moving on TV. So I'm saying to you again, if on Thursday I cannot do an interview in this house because of them, please offer me a space to do my interview. I have an interview with Charlie Ward. I think it's five o'clock on Thursday. I should check it now. Three o'clock. Three o'clock on Thursday, Charlie Ward interview, hopefully, to carry on with the positive stuff. Positive stuff as well as the other stuff. I give you a balance, I give you the dark and the light. But one thing I know is that everything that happens, happens that, that this is some kind of mirror, some kind of teacher. But there, there's limits, there's limits because we've been put through too much. Um, I watched Lee Harris the other day and he said, you're going to be more sensitive. Those of you, you're going to be more sensitive. Your nervous system is going to be more sensitive because we've been in lockdown. There's been no noise, there's been no pollution. There's been no airplanes, there's been, everything's been quiet and gentle. We're like newborn babies. When you come out into the dark, you come out into the light, I mean. Straight away, you're bombarded with all the noise and you're bombarded with noise and um, everything. So take care of yourself, my darling. Take care of myself, yourself, myself, you beautiful healers. Help me take care of me. So I can help to build the world that we are proud of. But we are all safe and loved. There's only so much work I can do on myself at the moment. Because I have to do a job as well. I want to do a job. This is my time to work. There's only so much time I can take to meditate. And I cannot meditate with noise. I can do so much, but then the body goes into spasm. I'm doing my best with it at the moment. But as I said, mineral tests. I had a massive test done a couple of years ago. See what's wrong with me. And we're going to look at it. We're going to look at it tomorrow. So pray for me. I'm doing my best. I go and I raise my vibration when I can. I do my work. I'm doing my best. I protect myself, I'm doing my best. You're all doing your best. All doing your best. And that woman showed me me. The ego. Pain. The suffering. The past. The confusion. The helplessness. This is mine. I'm not going to share with anybody. <laughs> This is my space. Give me my space. That's what she showed me. Nothing. No compassion, but that's not me anymore. Not me anymore. It's the past karma coming up to be cleared. I might read my cards, my own cards. What's going on with me? I love you guys. I don't want to stop this because it helps me feel connected to the universe more, a little bit more. I don't feel that. A lot of the time there's too much craziness. There's too much darkness. You can't feel connected sometimes. It's impossible at the moment. So I try, I try and I try. I do my best. And that's what today is all about. You healers, 
you wonderful, wonderful people are standing tall. We, we go one, we go all. Where we go one, we go all. We stand tall. We do our best, but we need to unite. And so, Living on TV needs you as well. I can't do it on my own. I can't do it on my own. I love you. Bye. Oh, hang on. I didn't read a card. How to stay sane. And I'm going to do how to stay sane, a crazy worm. And then I'm going to do a message from heaven for me and for whoever's on here. The message from heaven is from. Message from heaven, communication from your loved ones that have moved on. And then I have to go and feed poor PC and Ellie. They've eaten, but they want more. He's looking at me. You're looking at me. You'll stop meowing in a minute, aren't you? Pull a card. <laughs> My hat. <laughs> I'm doing <being> Casey. <laughs> Casey wears his hat back to front. There you go. You know, what annoys me as well is people sometimes they see me and they say, oh, you're feeling so well. You're not that crazy Lauren anymore. You're not that crazy person we all knew. He used to cry all the time and grieve all the time. And I'm thinking, stop judging me, mate. Stop judging me. I'm human. I might go backwards and forwards. You go backwards and forwards. I don't judge you. Okay? Right. Rest and recuperate. Oh my God. Synchronicity, eh? Today I will be a human being, not a human doing. I will rest, I will put my feet up for as long as I can because I am worth it. <laughs> rest and recuperate, my darlings. Let's see a message from heaven. I wear my glasses. I don't want you to see how tired I am, how exhausted I am from the lack of sleep. Not because I'm not going to bed, I am. I'm just not getting peaceful sleep. As, lo as all of you, all the healers, most of you are going through it anyway. Only so much we can do. Rest and recuperate. Spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. Anyone who's watching this, spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. Message from heaven. They're proud of me. They're proud of you. We're proud of all of us. We're all doing our work. Rest and recuperate. That's what we need to do, healers. You're burning out like me. Because you've had enough and I've had conversations. I know what we're going through. Tomorrow I'm going to get a brilliant vitamin D3 with K2 from Rebecca. Because there's no sun. And when there's no sun, the body gets sick. This one does. It doesn't seem to understand that. Without the sun. Vitamin D3, K2 is what you need. If you can't function without the sun. If you get sick, if you get freezing cold, if, if you just feel low. <laughs> I don't feel low. I feel empowered a lot of the time. But there's only so much I can take, just like everybody else. And so I love you. And I hope this helps you. I hope it helps. I hope it helps at least one or two people. Because I can see the viewers are very small. I can't force you to watch it. But I will put on there a message for all my healers. All the healers out there. Rest and recuperate. And we are proud of you. Love you lots. Bye.